Hello, sis. Pat, what are you doing here? Couldn't sleep. Thought I'd chew the fat for a while. We haven't for a long time. I've been busy. You got a match, Katie? Why don't you tell me the truth, Katie? That lighthouse keeper isn't old. Yes, he is. He has a beard down to his ankles. Having fun these days? Bored stiff, Frank. Why don't you go to Hyannis? The gang's all there. You're not trying to get rid of me, are you? <laughs> don't be silly. You know, darling, you're not a very good liar. Who is he? Who's what? Pat, you have a one-track mind. All right, don't tell me if you don't want to. What'd you do tonight, Pat? I know something's happened to you. You were singing like mad in the shower this morning. And for an elderly lighthouse keeper with a beard down to his ankles, you spend an awfully long time in front of the mirror. I saw the hunky dory offshore this afternoon. Does that mean Tom Fraser's in town? Tom's getting to be a bit of a nuisance. You didn't think so last month. Ah, but that was last month. Of course, he has a perfectly out of this world yacht, but something in his favor. It's a good catch, Pat. I wouldn't discount him entirely. Want him? I know my limitations. And I'm satisfied to stay within them. Go to bed, Pat. I'm dead. He must be wonderful. I meant your bed. <laughs> I can take a hint. I'll bet ten dollars I get it out of you yet. Ten dollars you don't. No wonder I can't sleep. Such a divine night. Full moon. No kind of a night to be stuck in a house by yourself. You should have gone out. It's warm enough to go without your coat. Painting in the dark, dear. <laughs> I wish I'd double that bet. Oh, darling. Just so you'll feel better. I will be seeing Tom for the next few days. Lunch on the yacht, and heaven knows what from then on. Night. Night.